What's up, folks? It's your boy, Z the Real here, ZTR. And I'm just going to report on some things that's been going on. This is my thoughts after an Atlanta masseuse massage parlor just yesterday has been shot up. Three different massage parlors have been targeted by one suspect. By the name of a 21-year-old Robert Long, who, of course, once again, appears to be Caucasian. Okay? Now, his excuse was, oh, I had a sex addiction. But this is the thing. Anybody that has a known sex addiction, they're not going to be busy trying to shoot things up. Anybody with a sex addiction is going to either be, A, paying for sex by one of these prostitutes or whores. They're going to be on them. They're going to be on them, them sex online dating sites looking for somebody. They can um, they can go after, go pick up for sex. B, or, B, they're going to be at a porn shop. They're going to be at a sex shop in one of those booths getting down in there. Okay? Only somebody who's a murderer, who has hatred in their heart, who has demons, somebody who don't like a certain ethnicity, a certain particular people, you know, only somebody who was told, who's come from a, 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 a different organization, a terrorist organization like the KKK or ISIS, will go in there and do things like that. Let me explain this to you. Speaking of ISIS, let me explain this. ISIS got people that they recruit inside of America. I, I've told y'all that before. Okay, ISIS is still pissed off that America has not left their, their land. ISIS recruits anybody of any race. They have been known to do this. They've been reported this already. ISIS has recruited from England, right? All over the place. Canada, they, they get people who look like that dude, who look like Robert Lone, to go off and attack other people. And so Robert Lone knows Robert Lone went peaceful because he knows the cops ain't going to kill him like they would a black man. But you got this, like, so this, one, so this, this is one of three things, right? It's either A, this man has been sexually harassing these Asian women. I mean, he went after Asian. He's attracted to Asian women, so he's been sexually harassing or molesting them or trying to get them to do him sexual favors, and he's got kicked out of these massage parlors. They kicked him out because he's disrespectful to them. When they start touching him, he try to get them, he try to pay for the, he tries to pay for sex, or he tries to get them to do something they ain't supposed to be doing. So these women get, get offended, and they kick him out. Because, like I said, he went off to three different locations. So he got kicked out because he's he's been being disrespectful with his body, with his with his, with his Jimmy down there. So they kicked him out. Or B, B, this was a terrorist attack. Okay, he was told to go do it. He's been recruited by some type of terrorist organization, whether it be ISIS, right? Or because I if for those who looked at my um, the Walmart shooter, uh, his name is Patrick Crucius. If y'all look at that video, I'll show you what organization he comes from. Okay. So it's obvious that this man was told to go do it. That was that that could have been a that could have been an actual terrorist attack by an enemy of America. It, it could be the KKK because the KKK don't just hate my skin color; they hate it all the They hated Mexicans, they hated Asians, they hate anybody that's not white. Y'all gotta understand that. This is why I told y'all, man. The N word is a very, very, very foul word. Okay. You gotta understand it. They don't the people that the people that, that say the N-word don't just hate my people, they hate all other other races that ain't white. So B, so A could have been that. He could have been mad because he got kicked out. B, it could be a terrorist attack. Or C, the man don't like Asian people. And is mad because he feels they're taking over. Because I'm gonna be honest, man, a lot of the Asian community has found ways to capitalize on their communities. They open up a lot of shops. The, 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 the Asian community not only own a majority of masseuses or gyms, their spas, they, they not only own a lot of spas, they own liquor stores, they own restaurants that they opened up, okay? Gas stations. Oh, not so much gas stations because I, I don't know if it's gas stations. They might own, I don't know if they necessarily gas stations or 7 Elements, but they own a lot of stuff. Donut shops, they own that too. It's a lot of the Asian community have found ways to open up their own shop and stay within their own people. So this man could be mad at the fact that these Asians, there's so many of them in Atlanta, they open up all this shop and they moving his people out the way. So again, there, there's behind every mass murderer, there's a motive behind it. Okay? And I've covered that before. This is why I tell y'all on this channel, my subscribers, I tell y'all over and over again, stay prayed up. Get yourself right with God. If you don't believe in God, then make sure you live a positive life. Make sure you give a positive energy. Because you never know when it's your time to go. And this is proof. Them, pe them eight people, that man, that young man killed, did not know they was going to die like that. Again, I don't wish that type of death on anybody. This is serious. And before I continue, man, 
Anybody that posts me a video or some other idiot that's calling these deaths hoax or fake, you're going to get blocked. I don't play around with this stuff at all. That's serious. But it's like, it was a dude, it was, a, it was somebody who I'm not going to name. One of my subscribers going to post me a video of a young man that had the nerve to say that what happened to Ahmaud Aubrey was fake. It was a hoax. What happened to Breonna Taylor was a hoax. That that's that's the young man was somebody who clearly don't do his history. He don't study black history at all. He don't read nothing. Because these what happened to Ahmaud Aubrey and Breonna Taylor has been going on for over 50 years. Okay. What happened to Emmett Till really did happen. Them two white men, because they thought that Emmett Till was whistling, I tried to rape that white woman, came in that young man's house, took him out of there, beat him to death, dragged him to a river, and killed him. Okay? That really did happen. That's not fake. That's actual history. It wasn't until years later, about 60-something years later, that the um the lady that accused that, that young man actually lied about it. Because why? She was feeling guilty. She had a conscience. Guilt was eating her away. You know what I'm saying? God put in her heart to finally ask to say she uh, admit the truth. No, this, this, thing, this thing is happening. Now, I told you, man, these mass murders is real. America has a serious gun problem. And this is another reason why the government is going to find a way to take away your guns. They're going to remove it because people like Robert Long are out of control. And these are young folks with these firearms. You know, he is the third young person in the last, he's like the fourth young person in like the last two decades that have been going into these places mass murdering somebody. Young, man. Under the age of, under the age of 25. The Walmart shooter. Patrick Crucius, he was in his early 20s. Dylan Roof, 19 years old. The, uh, the Santa Fe, Texas high school shooter, that young man was also 17 years old. I compared him to TK47 because that young man, that young man shot that school, cop 23 bodies. He didn't parole at age 40. TK47 got to do, his, got to do all 70 something years. I told y'all what it is, man. These people are getting, are murdering people and they know they can almost get away with it. Now, Dylan Roof, Thank God, they, they assessed it. They, um, he got the death penalty. He's gone. They ain't let him get away with it. But this dude here, man, I'm telling y'all, man, y'all y'all need to wake up with what's going on. Because I told y'all, man, they, they want a war. They want a war to go down. They're trying. Again, you understand, man, these, these uh, some of these, these people here don't like the fact that there's a lot of minorities that are business owners. They're they taking over. They own a lot of shops. Some of these hateful people who are racist, they don't like the fact that their people are not taking over. And they, they're not owning a lot no more. They feel they're being driven away. Or B, like I said, it could be an ISIS attack. Because y'all gotta understand, man, ISIS does recruit within the country. They've done it before. This young man could have been a part of ISIS. I'm not saying that he is, but ISIS do recruit. I, I told y'all about ISIS. ISIS is not, is not gone. ISIS got people who they live, who they move to America, purposely to recruit them to their Muslim religion. Okay? I believe it's either, I think it's the Shiites, Shiite Muslims, something like that, but they're very, very radical. Again, they don't like the fact that America is still in their land. They feel that uh, the America has wronged them. Ever since 9 11, they've had other attacks on America. And they use people like Robert Long to basically fulfill their, uh, their calling, to fulfill their mission. And that's kill everybody. Okay, now Robert Long didn't commit suicide. Like some of them are, but again, you never know. Okay? But it's the fact that it is, again, y'all, we gotta be prayed up. And I told my subscriber this already, right? You gotta you get you gotta you gotta get yourself ready, man. Make peace with, with yourself, make peace with God. Okay, because you never know when it's your time to go. Again, I don't wish death on nobody. What happened to those 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 happened to those eight those eight Asian ladies, man? I don't wish that on nobody. What happened to the eight people? I don't think he just killed Asian women. He killed, he might have, a couple men might have been shot in that too. But again, I don't wish that type of death on nobody. That's a spa. You would think that a spa would be the last place that happens in. No, uh-uh, man. This, this is going on everywhere. Again, this country has a serious, serious gun problem. It's getting out of control now. Again, the FDC, the FDC, the FCC, right? The CIA and the government, they're going to find a way to now remove guns. They have to now because this is the situation. So you got to understand, man, it's really going down. But I did told you it might be another civil war because, again, man, black people ain't going to take it no more. They ain't going to take these officers, keep harassing and killing them like they've been doing. But this goes to show you that all lives matter. My black people ain't the only ones getting targeted. Just like Dylan Root went inside that church and killed seven black folks. The Asians just now got, they got, they all, they placed, they placed mass murder. The Jews back in 2018 got mass murdered by an older, an older, an older dude, right? Went in there and killed them Jews. 
right? These schools are getting shot up, man. All lives matter. A mass murder can happen at any time in any place. Y'all gotta understand that, all right? It can happen anywhere in any place. Again, man, just live a positive life, right? Make peace with God. You all, y'all, we gotta get ourselves ready, man. I'm just saying, man, like God's coming back, for real. And see, me, I'm not worried about no, um, no satanic symbol. This is why I don't talk about these celebrities being sacrificed. I don't talk about death. I don't play around with death at all. And that's another thing, man. A lot of these other YouTubers, they got to stop talking about sacrifice, somebody getting sacrificed. You can't be playing around with death. That's serious. And that's another example of it. These people got shot and killed who were innocent. They did nothing to that man at all. These people never never picked that no Robert Long. They ain't do nothing to Robert Long. If you ain't me, I believe Robert Long did something to them. Robert Long might have been harassing them women. Sexually harassing them. Trying to get them to do sexual favors. And because they refused... They took the manager, the manager kicked him out. He took his revenge on them, on, 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 on them spas. That's what most likely could happen, right? Because I guarantee you, whoever the investigators are, the DA, right? Whoever the, the, whoever the FBI, the investigators, they're going to get on top of this now. They, they have to be some kind of motive. It was obvious. Yeah, it, it, since he talked about sex addiction, yeah, he was trying to get these people to have sex with him inside these spas. Because he's looking at all these kind of pornos. He's looking at too much porno. And he's seeing what goes on in, the, in, the, in these porn videos, but those are mostly actors. Most porn videos are actors, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, every now, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah you got POVs out there, people that record on their own, but and some of them stuff that goes on the South Park, those are all actors. You no, know, those people are playing out a script, a role. So he must have thought again, he was not in reality at all. Because you're not gonna always get somebody to have sex with you, especially if they don't like you. That's not gonna always happen, okay? That man's had something wrong with him. Me, I look at somebody, that, that that's somebody who had demons. Okay? Because he can't have his way, he's going to kill somebody. All right? It's no different than, these, than the young, the, the people, the young man who went inside that school. And because his he's having problems with his mom, he took his anger on the mother little kids. Okay? That happened too. Another young man, way back in 2012, went into a little preschool and shot that place up. And killed himself. Because again, the man had was sad. He was depressed. He had demons. Again, y'all, we got to pray against these things, man. This is why I live a positive lifestyle. This is why every day I try to live, I, I try to be prayed up. I'm out here telling people about God and how they can be saved. I'm not out here playing around no more, man. I don't, again, I don't talk about nobody getting ready to be, I don't talk about nobody getting sacrificed. I don't talk about death like that. That's not something to be playing around with. Because when we dead and gone, we gone. And everybody gonna die. But it's all about how long, what matters is what you do on this earth while you're still here. That's why when you're still here, man, live life to the fullest. Be happy, okay? Don't don't live with no don't don't live with no um no, no, don't have no negative mindset. Cause life is too short. And that's proof that life is short, but all lives matter. This is why I don't agree with Black Lives Matter. I don't. Look at Rick Strong, right? You see Strong make a report on nothing like this. Look at Rick Strong. Rick Strong going at Glenn Taylor. Glenn Taylor did nothing wrong. I showed you that, that Garnett video detail, man. And that's another, I got another video for you young black business owners. If anybody going to business, I got a video for y'all because what Karen, Kevin Garnett did was, was out of line. I was wrong. And I showed y'all that. Okay? Rick Stone want to wanna go at these owners, but he didn't want to talk about that type of stuff. That man approached the Black Lives Matter all day. But black lives ain't the only lives being affected by gun violence. The same particular people that's been killing mine in the black uniforms are the same other people that are, that look like Robert Long looks like those same people in the uniforms has been killing my people. Okay, they're going after everybody. All right? And again, I know all white folks ain't bad. It's just particular ones that are ignorant. This stuff affects everybody. Again, we got a major, major gun problem. Okay? So I'm telling you right now, get ready. Guns going to get taken away. These people are getting, and these and young folks get these semi automatics, getting these machine guns, these AK 47s, getting these Lugers, these big old assault rifles, the stuff you see on Call of Duty. They somehow getting them without being going through a process of being stopped. It's a problem, a real serious problem. Anyway, man, that's just it, man. I pray for the victims. My condolences, my heart goes out to the people who just lost their families. No, but anybody post me up, go on my channel now and post something about. Somebody saying these deaths are a host of fake, you're getting blocked immediately. Right? I don't care if you own, I don't care if you use, I'm, if you're going to give me that stuff, you might as well unscribe me. I know because I'm not trying to hear it. 
Because that's, no, ain't nothing fake about it. This stuff is real, man. What happened to them, what happened to them massage parlors can happen anywhere. At any time and at any place. Okay? Because in the last days, it did say it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot, a lot of, uh, crazy murder is going down. It says it in the Bible. It's going to be a lot of crazy stuff happening. Because right now, man, the devil got his army. Come and turn around. That man, that young man is used by the devil. Just like the, the boy in Santa Fe High School, Texas. And that was an actual devil worshiper. That went inside that school and caught them 23 bodies. That young man was a, that young man had serious demons. He was worshiping the devil. Okay? See, the, when the people who, when the, de the devil going to reveal himself eventually, the real people who worship the devil, they're going to reveal themselves. They ain't ashamed of it at all. No, I don't, but again, I don't play around with death. I don't. But these are things y'all need to know. And this is stuff I'm focused on. Again, man, I tell my subscribers again, man, make peace with whatever you got to make peace with. Okay? Do not live life with no regrets, man. Anybody you got into it with, make, solve your differences now. Okay? I got God in my life, so I got peace. So I know if something like this happened, I'm supposed to get caught and I'm a victim of it, I'm going to heaven. And I want everybody I love and everybody in the sound of my, my voice to go to heaven too. Every day and night, I pray. I pray for everybody. I don't just pray for myself. But anyways, folks, that's the video, man. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, you feel like, man. Just tell me how y'all feel about the situation. Uh, you stay blessed, stay tuned. As always, I will see you soon.